At 3.30, what Washington State is 2-0. Traveling to Washington, who's also 2-0. In an undefeated matchup, baby. Woo! Uh, Washington favored by 4.5 on Peacock. Arguably the game of the 3.30 window. Um, you got John Matier for the Cougs. Gone 20-36 and for 467 yards, 6 touchdowns, 1 interception. Also leads his team on the ground with 23 carries for 252 yards and 2 touchdowns. Kyle Williams had 5 catches for 162 yards and 3 touchdowns. Will Rogers for the Huskies gone 41 to 52, thrown for 511 yards, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. John Coleman's had 27 carries for 231 yards and three touchdowns, and Giles Jackson has had 16 catches for 164 yards. Washington leads the series of time 76 33. Uh, last two games have gone to Washington in 2022 and 2023. 2012 was last time Wazoo was able to go on the road and beat Washington at Washington, uh, as Washington has also won nine of the last 10. So Washington's kind of destroyed this series as of late, but Washington State was a stop on fourth and one away from maybe beating Washington last year, um, and Washington went to the playoffs, and I understand <laughs> rivalry games are different, right? Like, Wazoo was five and six heading into that game, Washington was a, pos- was a playoff team that ended up going to the national championship, that gave the... Wazoo gave them everything they got. Auburn was a team that was 6-5 and five heading into it. Alabama was a team that was going to the SEC Championship, and Auburn almost beat them. Uh, Florida State was a team that was 11-0 and 0 heading into Florida, and Florida was a team that was 5-6. and six. Florida almost beat them. The rivalry games are just a little bit different because you give your entire energy, all your worth, is into beating your rival. And it's a little bit different because the Apple Cup's not at the end of the year like it normally is, just like the Civil War isn't, which is kind of sad, but... You know, you love it. At least we get the Apple Cup and the Civil War. I mean, I'm not going to complain because we get those two games. I think this is a this is a big moment for both teams, right? I've been talking about it before. Washington State's to the path to the playoff is a little bit murky, right? You're going to need to get an at-large bid. And if you want to get an at-large bid, you likely have to go undefeated. And a win against Washington here would be big. It's not massive because, again, Washington's not a top 25 football team right now. But it is big. Uh, this is a big game for Washington as well. This is your first real test, right? You played an FCS squad in week one, and you beat Eastern Michigan last week, which is all nice and good. But you're playing a team that has power for quality in Washington State, that has the money of a power for football team, and just beat the crap out of Texas Tech last week on the road. Um, Wazoo has looked phenomenally good, and I think they're flying supremely under the radar because a lot of people think of the power four and they forget about Oregon State and Washington State, but Washington State has looked tremendously good on offense. Their defense has been a little bit lackluster, but it hasn't really super mattered. Washington State's offense has been crazy good. Um, I'm really excited to see this game. Watching John Matier has been a fun quarterback to watch, a quarterback that I didn't know a lot about heading into the season, but he has absolutely showed me who he is. Uh, I kind of like Washington State here. I think they're going to make a name for themselves, Um, and they're going to put their name on the map. They're going to beat... I think they go on the road and they beat the Huskies. Give me the Washington State Cougs to pull off the upset on the road.